Let me start by saying that the state-owned enterprises really are a big problem in the economy. They accounted for about 15% of formal employment. Um, and at their worst, they were uh, running net losses of over about a billion euros uh, per year, receiving about 3% of your national income in transfers each year, and had accumulated over 14% of your national income in what we call contingent fiscal liabilities, about 6% of that in the form of government guarantees, at least 8% of that in arrears that they owed to state, to state entities. And they also distort what happens in the private sector because they've undertaken uh, ill-advised investment programs, sometimes politically driven. They have propped up failed enterprises. They've deterred private investment and activity. And they have distorted the wages and, and labor market. And what we see here is that wages in the public sector exceed wages in the private sector. And that's really, again, on, by global standards, quite an aberration. Next slide. I guess someone else is doing it. I don't know. So on the commercial state-owned enterprises, a couple of years ago, the government, uh, you know, undertook to finally address uh, a legacy of, of uh, the former Yugoslavia. You had about 600 commercial state-owned enterprises with about 100,000 workers. They were only generating less than 1% of GDP, so really doing almost nothing for your economy. Um, and today, uh, thanks to the reform agenda that has been uh, implemented, uh, there has been put in place a fairly modern legal framework to resolve these state-owned enterprises, and that was a big part of the problem, and also uh, an, a, a legal framework to deal with the labor adjustment that's necessary. And as you may know, more than 300 commercial state-owned enterprises have been resolved through various uh, methods, including bankruptcy, and about 55,000 workers have transitioned out with appropriate severance and active labor market programs. 